So one of the things that studying autism has taught us is how miraculous typical development is. The ordinary child who at 18 months uh, is delighted when his or her mother picks up a banana and says, mommy's on the telephone, should be puzzled and scared and, and confused, but is instead delighted because they automatically and instantly recognize that what mother is thinking is this pretense and doesn't have to match reality. And that shows us that already at 18 months, in typical development, we can read other minds in this rudimentary way. It also shows us that this is automatic. In fact, I think it's involuntary. We can't turn it off. You imagine if you walk down the street and you see a lot of people pointing up at something, you can't resist but to look as well. People with autism don't automatically read minds. They don't automatically join with other minds. This gives them a certain originality. And I think this also plays into talents in autism. Uh, most of us, especially once we're teenagers, are part of a herd. We think like others because we're with others and we automatically know what others are thinking. People with autism think their own thoughts and this can make them capable of great creativity, actually, and originality. Of course, if you don't read minds in this simple way, then the world becomes very confusing and unpredictable and puzzling. And we believe that people with autism uh, don't automatically attribute these mental states to others. And so, uh, to give some examples, children with autism, even who have language, typically don't understand lies. They don't recognize that anyone would tell a lie because lying has to do with manipulating somebody else's mental contents. They also don't keep secrets because to keep secrets, you have to recognize I can know something that you don't know. And it causes communication problems because a child with autism may be very badly hurt on his way home from school, but he doesn't tell his mother or father because he doesn't understand that they may not know something that he knows. And so our understanding of other minds is very fundamental to social interaction and to communication. And most of the problem in autism in social interaction and communication can be understood in terms of what has been called mind blindness or difficulty in reading minds.